On the Features toolbar, select Plane. Click Top Surface The neck bottle is first reference. Set Offset Distance at 7mm. On the Features toolbar, select Helix and Spiral. Select Edge Neck. Click Convert Entities. Exit Sketch. Appear Helix or Spiral Parameters. Set Defined by in Pitch and Revolution. And Parameters at Variable Pitch Position. Set all the values as shown. Then click OK. Create profile and front plane. Choose ellipse from sketch toolbar. Place center of ellipse at edge of helix path. Set height of ellipse at 2 mm. And set width of ellipse at 1.5 mm. Then exit sketch. On the features toolbar, choose swept boss. Under profile and path parameter, select ellipse as profile sketch. And select helix as path. Under options parameter, expand and uncheck merge result. On features toolbar, select axis. Then on axis parameter under selections, select plane 1 and select front plane. Click OK. On the features toolbar, click copy bodies. Under Copy Body Parameter, select Copy Body. Under Rotate, select Axis, and set Angle at 180 degrees. OK. On the Features Toolbar, click Combine. To make sure Operation Type is Add, then select Copy 3 Bodies. On the Features Toolbar, select Filet. Set Filet at 3mm. Just enough click Surface Area. So, All Edge, will select it too. On the Features Toolbar, select Extrude Cut. Then click Bottom Surface as the Profile Plane. On the Sketch Toolbar, select Offset Entities. Set the distance inside at 2mm. OK, then Exit Sketch. Undercut Extrude Parameter, set Depth at 2mm, and set Draft Angle at 45 degrees. On the Features Toolbar, select Filet. Set Filet at 3mm, and click 4 edges, as shown in the drawing. On the Features Toolbar, select Shell. Set Thickness at 1.5mm, and click Top Surface to remove. Then click OK. Now, you can see the solid body change became thin body. Click Front Plane, then on the Features Toolbar, select Revolve Boss. On Sketch Toolbar, create Profile Line, Arc, and Center Line, as shown in the drawing. Use Add Relation, to make the relation of two lines become tangent. And make the center or point of arc radius, coincident to center line. Set Radius Dimension, of first arc at 5 mm. Set Height, at 30 mm. Set Angle, at 3 degrees. Second Arc Radius, at 50 mm. Click OK, then Exit Sketch. On Revolve Parameter, uncheck Merge Result, click OK. On the Features Toolbar, select Shell, and under Parameter, set Thickness at 0.7 mm. Select Face to delete. OK.
Now, we create rib to place inner thread. Select Extruded Boss, then click Surface Plane to place Profile Sketch. On the Features Toolbar, select Circle, and set Diameter at 20mm. Exit Sketch. Select Offset from Plane, and set the distance at 12mm inside. In Direction 1, set up to Next. On Thin Feature, set Thickness at 0.8mm inside. Set Draft Angle at 0.5 degrees, and check in Draft Outward. OK. Create new plane, from base surface of rib, and set the distance at 0.7 mm inside. On Features Toolbar, select Helix and Spiral. Create Circle, and set it 22 mm. Then Exit Sketch. It will appear Helix or Spiral parameters. Set Defined by, at Pitch and Revolution, and Parameters, at Variable Pitch. Set all the values as shown. Then click OK. From the front plane, create the profile sketch. Use line to draw the sketch. Set all dimensions, as shown on the screen. Then exit sketch. On the features toolbar, choose Swept Boss. Under Profile and Path Parameter, select Ellipse as a profile sketch. And select Helix as a path. Under Options Parameter, expand. And uncheck Merge Result. OK. On the Features Toolbar, select Split. Click Surface, as Cut Bodies. Select Bodies to Cut. Check Consume Cut Bodies, then click OK. Next, we will combine inner thread and cut the bottle. On Features Toolbar, select Combine. Use Add, then select Two Bodies, to combine. Then click OK. Now, we are finished to drawing the thread in two bodies, a neck bottle and an inner cup bottle. Thank you for watching my video tutorial. See you again in my next videos. Have a nice day. If you like this video tutorial, please subscribe and share in your social media. Thank you.